Welcome back trainers and we have a pretty fun video here. We're going to be using shiny Obstagoon. I have a regular one but it, you know it's shiny. This thing is radical. I have to use it. And then one of my favorites in the Ultra League is going to be Toxic Croak. It is going to be equipped as my best buddy sitting at $24.99. A different CP that you can see now because it's unequipped right now. As well as we're going to take off Shadow Muck that we did use yesterday and put in Nido Queen. So we're going to be weak to Psychic in the back but you know, here we go. Here we're going to have that spice and have fun. But there's also another twist, as you know by the title. I have a few things to say, too. We're going to be going up against some veterans, and we're going to be giving them the win. Now, if you're thinking, well, that's not going to teach them how to get better or, you know. Well, you know, we make them put up a fight into the bitter end, some of these guys and gals. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. You'll see. And the whole catches if they back out some of them i get right down to the wire and you're gonna have to really pay attention i'd like stop tapping for two seconds and that's all the difference that it makes and i just give them the win or whatever but don't worry we're also going to be going up against legends and well of course we're not going to be doing it there uh also we have a streamer at the end who is a pretty cool guy so we'll be taking a look at that so i just want to say first of all I really appreciate the support that everybody has been giving me and kind of seeing eye to eye in the situation here. Um, I, I don't want to go down that route. That's that's all I'm going to say. Just thank you for the support. And yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how this all works out. But that's it. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. And one more thing. Uh, you know, we've talked about this before. You may, may already know, obviously, from you being up at this rank. But when you get up here, it takes forever to find a battle. I'm talking like five, four minutes, six minutes between each battle. So it really started accumulating. Before I knew it, I looked at the time and it's like two hours, three hours. And I'm thinking, you know, I, I could have been outside. It's really nice. It's summer. <laughs> I better get out as much as I can before it's wintertime here in Alaska. So we're going to drop the elo a little bit. Letting these veterans win is going to help me do so. So uh, find the matches a little bit quicker. So this team was absolutely a blast. I had so much fun. Obstagoon is great. I love Shadow Nido Queen. Love Poison types. Toxicroak is one of my favorite Pokemon in general. Uh, so what is the, you know, the key to this? Well, it's pretty much counter rules all. Shadow Needle Queen's Poison Jab and Poison Fang is also amazing and simple as that. If they think your first counter user is down, pretty much my Obstagoon, I kind of have to keep that a secret sometimes. Uh, a lot of times I may just swap into Toxicroak and then double counter is revealed because of what they swapped into. But if they don't think I have a counter user in the back, I end up pretty good. Like you can see there with that Galarian Stunfisk, uh, we are pretty much going to be in the perfect. So let's go ahead and get into this commentary here up against a legend. And we have a mirror match up against another obstacle. They're going to be instantly swapping into an Escavalier. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Toxicroak here. And this is absolutely going to get shielded up. If it was, if it was an acid spray, yeah, no, yeah, that sucks. And yes, for my last video, somebody pointed out... <laughs> I go for Sludge Bomb up against Escavalier. I know that was a bad play. I, you know what happens. Anyways, let's go ahead and shield up. We're double shielding this here up against the Legend. So since they give up a shield, I don't feel too horrible doing that. They're bringing in their own Toxicroak. We do have two Mud Bombs. It's going to do a lot of damage. Getting their last shield, and we're going to go ahead and go for another one here. I do believe I may want to swap into Nido Queen now. We're going to take a lot of damage from that Mud Bomb, but honestly, uh, you know, it's not going to... KOS and we're resisting the counter. So they're going for that first Mud Bomb and we're going to go straight for the Poison Fang here. It's not very effective, but it's still going to be able to do something. They do swap, so that was just a visual. They're going into Obstagoon and we're looking pretty good at this point. We're just going to have to uh, get this Poison Fang through. Their defense has fallen. We have no more shields and they use their energy here, which was key. We, would, we should have been able to get to another Poison Fang and that would have been devastating to their Obstagoon. I think we may have KO'd it there almost. Uh, but we have two counter users, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and bring in Toxicroak to just absorb their charge moves here. So Cross Chop, okay, sounds good. Countering down, and that is all she wrote. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And we got a Veteran. All right, let's see how this works out. So bad lead for us. All right, let's see how we can uh, play around this. Like I said, we are going to give them the win, but we're going to give them a fight until the bitter end. All right, a lot of people like to back out, you know, right before they lost. You know, I do it too. <laughs> so let's see if they stay in so they can collect that win. Uh, and I just realized after editing this, I could have just pushed the back out button. Like, when I wanted to give them the win, I didn't have to just sit there and let them KO me. But uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and just go to Cross Chop Town here with the counter as well. Gotta love these moves. Really good. Well, at least counter is. 
Uh, swapping into Nido Queen here to absorb a Moonblast, but they're going for the Weather Ball there. Very nice. And then bringing in a counter to our Nido Queen. So we've been put in uh, quite a jam here. Countered in the lead, countered in the swap, but <laughs> we're going to be able to pull through on this one here. And we get to the Poison Jab. Unfortunately, we do not get it off, and they go for an Ice Beam and take us out. But we do have Obstagoon that can still handle the Ghost type of there. So we're going to go ahead and bring that in. And go for the Night Slash as soon as we can. Unfortunately, they get to a charge move here. I'm expecting that, that Ice Beam, of course. I'm not going to have Ice Beam and Mobile Beam, I wouldn't think. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Thinking I'm not going to take it all the way out. I want to farm. And we get the boost. They swap into Ninetales. We get a little bit more farm. They show our, their last Pokemon. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Night Slash here. And you're going to see how we do let them take the win here in a moment. So we pretty much have this in the bag. Yeah, well, you'll see. So they go for Lunge. We're obviously not going to use that Shield. In comes Toxicroak. They are shieldless at this point. And we're going to let this go through. It is going to be a lunge, not very effective, but reducing our attack here. We're going to get to the Sludge Bomb, which is going to be enough to KO the Galvantula. And then we're going to... I think, do we stop attacking right here? Yeah, we have to. So we just let them do their thing and get to the charge move and let them have their win. Also, keep in mind, they really worked hard to get up to this point, okay? Um, I guess they can get a, a, a win... You know, they still fought through the battle, and they stayed, right? They could have backed out at that moment. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, into the next one, and we have a good lead up against our Jellison here. Oh, not our, <laughs> their Jellison, and we have a Legend as well, so we're not going to be giving up any wins here, or at least we're going to try to win. So they're going for a Bubble Beam lowering our attack. Okay, that sounds fine to me. Shadow Ball is not going to do anything, so their best bet is just to keep on spamming that and dropping our attack until... They probably get KO'd and then come in with another Pokemon and well, there you go. Galarian Stunfist. We're going to go ahead and bring in that Toxicroak because Nidoqueen, you know, super effective with the ground, but also super effective back. Same with Tox Toxicroak, but ye, this is an obvious matchup you want to be in with the counter and the Mud Bomb. So they're going for Earthquake. We're calling that there. We don't want to take any chances. Going to go ahead and farm that down, building up quite a bit of energy, going straight for the Mud Bomb, expecting that Jellicent to come back into battle here. And we're getting a shield, which is maybe indicating to me that there's something back there that still does not want to see this Toxicroak. Not just the Galarian Stunfisk. They're letting it go through. Okay, maybe they just want to lower our attack before they do exit out of here. So let's see how this works out. We're going to go ahead and shield up that Shadow Ball. And it is going to be a Ninetales. So we do build up to the Powdered Snow. And things are getting a little bit heated here, but we still do have Nidoqueen. And they're releasing their energy, which is just perfect. Perfecto. And Nido Queen is going to be able to handle this, but we're going to take a lot of damage from Weather Ball here. Uh, I'm pretty confident we're going to easily win this. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. Poison Fang. I mean, Nido Queen is just absolutely a beast in the Ultra League, even in the Great League. I love this thing. Is it worth the investment? Yeah, absolutely. You saw my IVs in the beginning. They're just completely booty uh, for the Nido Queen, right? So whatever. I don't care. Uh, some of them I just you know make because that's all i have lying around for a shadow so next battle we're met with a giratina so it does have dragon breath it's not as comfortable as obviously the shadow claw would be but we're getting the boost and well here we go let's uh, have a little fun here and this is a veteran so if we do end up kind of winning this matchup here towards the end we will let them just take us out uh so we're gonna go for that night slash and counters aren't really doing much so they're comfortable in that sense Kind of like when the Obstagoon is going up against the Shadow Claw. You can let those charge moves go through to some degree because the Shadow Claw is so massively resisted by the Dark and the Normal. And Giratina is a tank, so it has a pretty good resistance to the counter. Although it is starting to dig in because counter is just such a good move in this game, right? Uh, if you haven't never played the main series games, I'm not going to go over every single not very effective or at least no damage at all, but... Uh, Fighting moves do no damage to ghosts in the main series games, but they can't have that in Pokemon Go because it would just hinder everything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring in our Toxicroak. They do have a Venusaur here. Nido Queen doesn't really want to see that Frenzy Plant. Toxicroak can resist it a little bit better. And as much as I want to go for the Sludge Bomb, we just go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb here. And we're going to be able to counter down. I'm surprised. I thought they would be able to get to a, another one. So I seen there was an Empoleon, so we don't hit our charge move. This is where we let them win here. And bring in the Needle Queen. We're just going to let them do their thing and take us out and uh, have their win. Hopefully, they're going to be able to hit Legend soon. And uh, hopefully, I made their day. <laughs> okay, on to the next battle here. Uh, let's see what we have going on. And some people were telling me as well that, and this is perfectly fine. And I understand where you're coming from. They want to earn their wins. They don't want, they don't like that. Well, I'm sure if that, you know, if it was such a, if it was a big deal to them, they would back out if they saw that. 
Um, but I'm sure they're more than happy to take the wins from me here. So we have a Swampert Shadow. Okay, well, it's taking more damage, but it definitely is hurting a lot more with that Hydro Cannon. And uh, nobody really wants to see that. Unless, I guess, um, Giratina. <laughs> Giratina, I suppose, doesn't mind it too much. Earthquake is still going to hurt it, though, from a Shadow Swampert. So what are we going to do? Shield up again? Yes. And I think we're going to counter down, get a little brave here. And bingo, bingo. They do have a shield. And I'm just doing that. They're bringing in a Giratina, which is a indication that there's something in the back that probably doesn't want to see fighting. We're getting the boost here, so hopefully we'll get a shield, although they don't really need to shield up, but they're going to anyways. And we're going to go ahead and swap into Nido Queen. Uh, since they are shieldless, Earth Power is going to be able to do some good damage at the range of health that they are at. And if worse comes to worse, we can come in and counter down with Toxicroak, but uh, let's see how this does play out here. All right, Earth Power, beautiful. So they're going to go for a Dragon Claw. Okay. And they're going to be able to farm us down. Oh, no, we get to a Poison Fang. Oh, man, that's uh, it's not very effective, but hey, <laughs> better than nothing. And we're able to take them out. Beautiful. But they're getting some farm here, which inevitably is not great for me. But we have two counter users. So let's go ahead and bring an Obstagoon here because they're going to throw their energy. That lock-in is not going to take us out. So that's exactly what I'm using it for. Going to go ahead and bring in Toxicroak. They're going to have to get to two charge moves at this point to actually take the win. So... You gotta love those double counter users. Gonna go ahead and go for that Mud Bomb here. And uh, they're gonna get a charge move through. So uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this for maybe the newer people that uh, have been showing up to my channel lately. The weird sounding voice quality that will probably consistently change throughout this video is because I don't have the best of mics and I do everything from my phone. But in the next few days, I'm going to really... Do my homework on how to make this a consistent voice here so the longer videos it, it does that i don't know it's the voice editor or the mic and whatever anyways uh let's go ahead and see what we have going on here so we've got a talon flame versus the needle queen here do believe we're going to shield this up because the incinerates are going to take a while to actually get through we're going to be able to get to another poison thing here if they want to um shield this up that's fine okay they're going to let it go beautiful we absolutely kind of needed to take that thing out before it got too uh dangerous with that vamped up energy Bringing back in the Umbreon here. And uh, what do we want? I don't remember what we go back in here with. Okay, so we're revealing the double counter. And I wonder what they have in the back. That's the question. So, yeah, we're going to take quite a bit of damage from the last resort. But whatever, we're going to go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb here. And then swap into to, uh, Obstagoon and go straight for the Cross Chop. Just a little bit of a... You know, Mortal Kombat combo action. And then we're good. Well, actually, what was the Killer Instinct Gold? All right. Remember that one? Nintendo 64 and all, all that good stuff back in the day. Anyways, we're going to have a Muck out here. Muck's pretty good, actually. Uh, so it's going to probably have Dark Pulse, which is not very effective. So they're going to be stuck going with the Thunder Punch as well as that Poison Jab quick move they have. Uh, and we're just going to continue on. Not very effective counter but neutral night slash here obstagoon is a bit of a tank as long as you're not going up against something it's weak against it it could take a lot of hits actually uh so bring it in toxicro gonna go ahead and go straight for the mud bomb we're getting a shield from them the last one they're swapping into their umbreon here and this is a veteran right or not no this is a legend pretty sure i uh didn't see the beginning i was <laughs> paying attention All right yep no this is a legend i remember now yeah and taking the win with Toxicroak. Let's go. Gotta love the double counter. Having a little fun over here. It's so relieving just to use whatever the heck I want. Well, I, what am I talking about? I've always been doing... <laughs> we picked the Heisenberg for like three teams or three days and just became legend. Let's go. All right, so we have a Needle Queen lead here. This is not great for us. All right, so it looks like I was trying to swap to catch into the Needle Queen myself. So this one is a pretty interesting one. We get the boost as we swap. So that's uh, a head slapper, right? Uh, but, you know, it happens. It's okay. And we're going to go ahead and shield this up. Unfortunately, it is a Poison Fang bait. And they really start going for those. And I decide to just let them go through here. Uh, because at this point, I'm thinking, all right, I got a shield from you. Let's go ahead and go Earth Power. And we're going to get two shields here. So at that point, I don't, really don't mind letting the Needle Queen go down. I don't really want to shield up. And we could farm down, although... It will be able to lower our uh, defense, but we can just swap out with all these charge attacks. The time swap is going to be ready to go here. And then actually, there it is, ready to go. So we're going to let this go through, and this will be an earth power. They take us out, and they're in perfect range to counter down. A little bit more health would have been appreciated, but we don't want too much because then they would have poison fanged us. So they're bringing in that obstacle. We're going to go straight for the cross chop and then swap into Toxicroak here. 
And let's just hope there's no, uh, like, Urselia in the back. And it's a Snorlax. Okay, yep, this is definitely a veteran. At this point, I just stop. And this is kind of the one where I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, I could have just backed out here and let them take the win, but I just stopped attacking and let them have it. Because, yeah, like I said, we're just having some fun here and uh, helping a little bit out to maybe help them get to that Legend rank because they've gotten so far at this point. And in no ways, I don't know, maybe some people might look at it as, oh, you're giving them a participation award, you know, just a free win. But, you know, yeah, they worked their way up all the way to the score, so they did something, right? Anyways, on to the next battle here. We're going to be met with a regular Swampert. And we've seen this quite a bit. Obstagoon, like we've discussed, is pretty tanky and it can handle these Hydro Cannons quite well, especially when it's not coming from a Shadow Swampert. So we're going to let this go through. I usually let the first one go through. If they go Earthquake, you know, that's fine. Uh, it is going to be putting you a little bit lower and a little bit more cautious as to shielding up the Hydro Cannon at that point. And we can still take a Hydro Cannon if we wanted to let it go through and we would have survived. But they're swapping into their Talon Flame. So we are down a shield and we're going to go ahead and bring in that Needle Queen here. And we've seen this before. This is pretty much my best, yeah, you know, option. If they swap into Talon Flame here, this is my best answer here. So... Letting that Poison Fang go through, I got a little greedy. I was trying to farm down. We had the Poison Fang, but unfortunately we didn't get it off. Or yeah, we we're trying to farm down. But So we use our last shield. And what's going to happen now is we're going to go ahead and lower their defense. And swap into the Obstagoon here. We don't really want to go Toxic Croak. Obstagoon is still going to be able to handle a Hydro Cannon. Which I'm expecting them to throw at us. And we're going to survive. And swap into Toxic Croak here. So we can now absorb the Hydro Cannon safely as well as build up a little bit of energy if they swap okay i have a registeel in the back and although this looks pretty okay we're not going to be able to win this unfortunately because we have no more shields and our health is low enough for us to get ko'd by flash cannon here and then obstagoon simply does not have enough health to survive any of this we would have gotten focus blast we had like i don't know 80 energy actually i don't even think that would have been happening so yeah we're going to take a loss here up against the legend and down we go. All right, good game. All righty, moving on to our next opponent. We have a veteran. All righty. So uh, we're met with a muck. This is pretty good for us here. We're just going to be able to keep going cross chop. I usually like running Hyper Beam, but I'm just going to be a little bit more practical with the cross chop right now. Hyper Beam was amazing, and it definitely took people by surprise. But having this cross chop is coming in very nicely up against a lot of these dark types, as well as steel types that we have to go up against. All right, or this dark type yeah so there you go all right so letting it go through and we're just getting hit by acid sprays we're gonna let this one go through more than likely not every time but more than likely if somebody is running poison jab on their alolan muck then they're probably gonna have acid spray and not be running sludge wave also with dark pulse of course so they're taking us out here but we still do have two shields we're bringing in nido queen unfortunately we're not able to farm down and they do get a shield from me and it is an acid spray i should have known better but i figure you know, they might go down swinging with that Dark Pulse, so A, use the shield. And they have a Cresselia. This is not good. Uh, technically, we resist the Moon Blast, but it's still going to do a decent amount of damage. And also, Grass Knot's going to hurt quite a bit. So we're swapping into a Toxic Croak. Okay, folks, are you kidding me? Do you think we're going to be able to pull this off? Yeah, actually, we're going we're gonna to stop tapping the screen and let them win. I know it looks like we're not going to win, but check, check it out. They swap into their Scrafty. I go straight for the Sludge Bomb. I'm not even trying to bait. Not even trying to bait. And they take us out, which is perfect. This is just great. Now we can go ahead and bring in Nido Queen here. And farm up a little bit. Going for a foul play. Down they go. We still have a shield. And they're too low. I mean, they're going to lose. So what we do is we go for this one. We want to get their shield. And we're going to... I think we're shielding this up. We really wanted this one to come down to the wire. And I stop attacking right there. Okay, so we would have been able to get to that Poison Jab or Poison Fang. But uh, like I said, letting it come down right to the wire, kind of making their heart race. All right, up against the Legend. Let's see what we have going on. All right, so yet again, we have another Swampert lead. Now, people were asking me a leak to the video where you explain how to manipulate the algorithm. You know, Swampert is a good lead, but it's kind of being pulled with the Poison in the back. Okay, just a little hint. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for another Night Slash, of course. There's no need to go for the uh, Cross Chop here. We get the boost. All right, looking good. And I do believe we shield this up. Definitely want to preserve that health, and we're able to counter down. 
looking good with that nice boost on Obstagoon as well as health. They're bringing in a Cresselia, so this isn't particularly great because, well, the two back Pokemon don't like to see this. And we are down a shield, so we kind of need to hold the line here. Nidoqueen can go in and put him some work. Uh, but Toxicroak is not going to appreciate that Moonblast, although it's not super effective because of the poison typing. So they're taking us out with the Moonblast. We still have a shield. They've used both at this point, so it's not all bad. And we absolutely do not want to use our shield here. We got to let this go through. This Moonblast is not very effective. So many times where I'm thinking, it's going to be a Moonblast, and they hit me with a Future Sight. Man, it's a tricky one there. So uh, looking good, getting that Earth Power off on them, doing some good damage here. And I think we are going to... Oh, yeah, there's that Future Sight we were talking about. Dang. And they swap instantly into their Obama Snow. All right, so we are going to use our first... or well, not our first, but our last shield here. Want to preserve the health. Now, the whole time I'm thinking, okay, I need to come out of this with some good energy. I think maybe Sludge Bomb's going to be able to KO Cresselia. I don't exactly remember how much HP it did have, but let's see... And we get to the sludge. Okay, this Psycho Cut is going to do a lot because of the poison and the fighting. And we're going to be able to not KO and counter, counter, and they take us out. Well, good game. You got me. On to our next opponent. Now, I didn't see what rank they were, so whenever that does happen, if they have a Legend Pose, well, it's straight for a win. Well, it's straight to try to win. I'm not going to do that, you know, let them win thing. All right, so we have an Alolan Muck. Okay, that's fine. It does have Snarl, so there you go. There is that uh, Sludge Wave that we were discussing that they would have if they do not have Poison Jab. And now we're going to go ahead and go Cross Chop. The same old deal here. I built up extra energy, making them think I had Hyper Beam, but they didn't give a shield up. They're like, nah, I'm not playing no games. I'm going to let that go through. I'm going to go ahead and shield up a Dark Pulse. That sucked. They swap into Gramble, and well, it's Nidoqueen time. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm not going to try to farm down. I don't want to take a crunch right now. So we're going to go ahead and just take them out instantly. They are bringing in a Swampert. And I'm just getting a little nervous because Swampert is a pain in the butt for my team. That's why I like it to be in the front. That's where I can handle it with the Obstagoon. Because when it comes down to Toxicroak and Nidoqueen, Toxicroak is not the tankiest. And Nidoqueen will is ground and shadow. So we don't want to see that at all in the back. So, we're going to go ahead and just let this go. We have no more shields, so there's nothing else we can do. In comes Toxicroak. They swap into Muck, and uh, I'm thinking, okay, uh, thanks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb here, because, well, Poison's not very effective to ground. Okay, we're getting a little bit... They're getting, a, they're getting a little bit low on the health, and now I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm going to be able to counter you down. <laughs> Pretty sure. So, there goes Hydro Cannon, and... They're gonna, this isn't going to KO. I mean, I thought this might be Earthquake, but it wasn't. Hydro Cannon, fantastic. So we instantly hit the Mud Bomb. We're not playing any games, not trying to counter down here. You never know what those Hydro Cannons just come out of nowhere from those Swampers. All right, moving on to our next opponent. We have a Veteran, and we have... Uh, it's not. I'm going to have to say this is not too good for Obstagoon, okay? Up against a Cresselia. If, if it does have Moonblast, it's technically not that great. Your Quick Moon's not doing much. I mean, if you get the boost, sure. Now, I'm going to also give you a piece of advice. If you know they're going to be using Moonblast right away and your backline doesn't really appreciate the Cresselia, maybe you should shield it up because that's going to keep you in the fight longer. Seeing that that quick move's really not doing much, it's like, you know, as you can see. All right, so going for a Moonblast, and now we're pretty comfortable here. And we're just going to go for another Night Slash, of course. And we've already used a shield, so I don't know if we double shield this. Now we're going to let it go. It goes with a Moonblast, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and bring a Nidoqueen and farm it down. And now we have some good energy on our Nidoqueen. We already went up against our Psychic, but there's a Swampert. There's that damn Swampert that keeps showing up here. It's because I got these Poison types. It's a common thing used in the game for GBL for this. Uh, this is the Open Ultra, by the way, obviously. <laughs> As we're looking at a Reggie Steel, this is Open Ultra. Uh, <laughs> so this is good. Uh, we're looking great. Okay, it goes Flash Cannon. And I don't remember how I let them win here. They got two shields still. So in comes Swampert. We're going to go for the Mud Bomb. Getting that shield. Still have a full Needle Queen in the back. But, I mean, you know, one Earthquake, we're done. One Hydro Cannon, and we're pretty much over with a couple of quick moves. And I got a nice bit of lag there. We're going to go ahead and go for the Poison Fang before they get to any charge move. Lowering their... You know, defense, of course, so we can counter them down with the Toxic Crow. So we do not want to shield this up. And we're going to... I think we... Yeah, we let this go through because... What do you think? Do you think we would have won that? I, I, I let it go because I, I wanted the veteran to win, but... 
that was still a very close match. So into the next one, we're met with a legend here, and they're starting it off with an XL Steelix. That's awesome. That's the first one I've seen. They swap into Obstagoon, and I'm thinking, <laughs> go Toxic Rogue. Let's have some fun. They're definitely going to have something in the back that's protecting them from fighters. I mean, they got two things weak to fighting, so we're about to see it, what it is. What do you have protecting it? It's going to be Giratina. All right, that makes sense. All right. Not very effective, so well, we're not gonna we're just gonna stay right here. We can't swap anyways, but um, we're gonna just let them farm us all the way down. We don't want to swap in and all that nonsense. Uh, you'll see how I do play around this, and we're just gonna go ahead and go for another mud bomb here. That's your best bet. Don't go for sludge bomb. Just keep going mud bomb. All right, and look at how much damage we did. I mean, look at that. So they swap in into their Steelix, and we go straight for the Poison Fang here. So at this point, it's a GG's. I can just come back in here with Obstacle farm down, and then you know, go in with the, uh, up against Giratina, and then, you know, Night Slash it away. So, good game. On to our next opponent. We're met by a veteran, and we have another Obstagoon Mirror match. Let's get it. So, I'm gonna just let them throw their move first, but they swap into Charizard to potentially catch a Cross Chop, but we were not planning to throw any moves, and we do plan to stay right here, because we do have Toxicroak with another counter move in the back that's getting actually stab. It's going to do a ton of damage up against their Obstagoon, but we need to remember that their Obstagoon is also loaded up on some energy. So they're going straight Blast Burn. They're not even <laughs> they're not even messing around. They said, I'm taking you out, Poke. I need to take that thing out now. So we do shield it up. That's pretty cool. And we're getting to another one of these Night Slashes. I do believe we're going to double shield this here just so we can win the swap. I just wanted to see how they play around it. Like I said, I'm still going to be giving them a, the run for their money here. I'm not going to just you know easily let them win throughout this battle. And they're bringing in a Talonflame. Getting nervous here because they farm me down. With that thing loaded up on energy and shields down on my end, I'm thinking, well, crap, I've lost. I mean, what can I do? So, I'm not going to back out. <laughs> so, I swap. They swap. And I'm like thinking, oh, my gosh. I just, I got the win. Of course, we're going to let them have it. But you'll see how this plays out. So, uh, Toxicroak is going to get the shields. And then we go in with Nidoqueen. We get to the Poison Fang. And then we just simply don't hit the bubbles. It would have been enough to take them out. So we're going to go ahead and get that shield. Fantastic. That's the last one. And we're getting to a mud bomb here. And here's the thing. They could have farmed us down. They throw their energy right here. So they could have definitely just farmed us down once the Needle Queen came in. Brave Bird or, I mean, look at our health. So what I go for is the Poison Fang. We don't hit the bubbles. We're going to really make them think that they, you know, didn't take it. So... <laughs> They had to charge me. We had a CMP there. And, well, they're going to be able to take the win on that one HP Nido Queen. Alrighty. Good luck on your rise up. Now we have the guest star Gucci Gucci. Let's get it. So we have a pretty good lead up against a Shadow Caesar. He's swapping into that annoying Swamper that we keep running into that's so bad for our team. Alright. So what are we going to do? Shield this up. We don't want really to take damage right now. Alright. Going to go ahead and go for that Mud Bomb. That's all we can do. We get a shield, which that sounds good to me. And you're going to see something that happens here. I took advantage of it. I was like, as soon as it happened, I was thinking to myself, oh, I think we can win this now. So we are going to let this go through. We survive. And Toxicroak is just going to farm up. They used both shields. That's what kind of threw me off. And then we're going to be bringing in the Obstagoon here because, well, Needle Queen's ground, right? So they're going straight Earthquake. We're going to go ahead and farm down. And at this point, I'm like, what's in the back? It's a Gyarados. So we're going to go ahead and go Night Slash. And I kind of need to keep the Obstagoon alive. So since shields are down, I figure we're going to go ahead and swap. They're going to bring in Caesar. We're going to go Earth Power. KO, right? Yeah, sure. No, it survives with like a couple HP. It's going to get off a charge move and it gets the boost. Does a little bit more damage with the bullet punch. And that right there is the game over for me. A little bit of a difference right there is going to change the whole thing. Good game nonetheless. Uh, and uh, yeah, all right. It's, it's always fun battling a streamer here. And there's their win. Uh, yeah, we're going to shield it up. But of course, they're not going to just throw one. They have two built up. Come on now. He knows what he's doing. So uh, good game there. And after this, I did go over to his stream, say hello. And good games. If it's somebody I'm on good terms with, I will do that. If it's not, then I just uh, move along. Good game. All right. So there you have it. Good game, Gucci. Moving on to our next opponent here. And let's see what we have. A uh, Stamp Swamp. <laughs> Oh, man. Change it. Watch this. I put a uh, grass on my team. I'll never see a Swampert ever again. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go Night Slash. Here you know. It's just the same old song and dance here. And let's uh, see it. This is the last battle. 
And uh, simple as that. We're going to do the same old thing. Now, I'm not going to let this uh, veteran win. Uh, well, I mean, if they win, they win. I mean, come on. Uh, but I'm not going to, you know, do the whole stop tapping and let them win. If I'm going to take the win, I'm just going to take the win here because this is my last battle of the day. So we are going to take the Hydro Cannon, farming all the way down. Beautiful. But we have used the shield. They're bringing in Talon Fame. That's great. They're only going to be able to get one of those incinerates through. And then we're going down. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in Nido Queen, which likes to see the Talon Flame. Can handle it pretty well with those Poison Jabs and then uh, Poison Fang as well. All right. So they're going for the Flame Charge. We're going to go ahead and go for that Poison Fang. Looking good. They're instantly swapping into a... XL Ferrothorn. We're going to go ahead and bring in that Toxicroak doing super effective damage with the counter. As far as the charge moves, they're not super effective uh, to the steel because of the grass and the poison because of the steel. So it's like literally reversed here, but at least our counter is doing something. We're going to go ahead and shield this up. We, it's not very effective, but I need to hold on to my health. And their health is so low at this point, it doesn't really matter uh, if they had, you know, five shields. All right, so getting that through. I don't know why I'm throwing the, the charge moves, but uh, we bring in the Needle Queen here, and then the Toxicroak will come back in and then counter down. We take the win. Thank you for watching, trainers, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.